So what's up, everybody? Uh, Tony Yota beats Christian Hammer via points victory. What do I think about that? Who was the snooze fest? Tony Yota had no business going the distance with Christian Hammer at this point in his career. Christian Hammer has been through several wars. Christian Hammer has been stopped by Tyson Fury before. Christian Hammer has knocked out called by Mario Svak before. He had no business going on with this man. And he looked horrible in this fight. You could even see how a Derek Chisora type opponent could beat Tony Oka. You could see how Tyson Fury can smother everything Tony Oka wants to do. You could see how Joe Joyce would beat Tony Oka. I think Tony Oka might be able to put some problems for the likes of Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois, Deontay Wilder, these guys, but guys who can smother your work like Derek Chisora, Tyson Fury, and Joe Joyce is are going to be all wrong for Tony Oka. Tony Oka looked horrible. There's no way to sugarcoat this, folks. There's just no way you can sugarcoat this. He looked absolutely horrible. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. I was expecting Tony Oka to go out there and blast him on three or four rounds because Christian Hammer has not looked good in years. He hasn't. He hasn't looked good since 2017 when he beat David Price. You would think that Tony Oka would stop him. Tyson Fury, not a heavy puncher, stopped him in eight rounds. Marius Vak knocked him out cold. Tony Yoka was supposed to do the same. You put him in there with the, you put Christian Hammer in there with Daniel Dubai or Joe Joyce, they're blasting him out. You put him in there with Philip Hergovich, he's knocking him out. It was a horrible, just a horrible performance from Tony Yoka. I was not impressed. I don't even think Tony Yoka would be a Philip Hergovich. Because he just uh, his work can easily be smothered. I was shocked by this fight. I thought he ha definitely had a future. I take it all back now. He's not going to be uh, a, a reigning champion. He's going to be an opponent for a champion. Unless they can get him a vacant belt, which I don't see which belt will go vacant for him. He's not being Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. I'd keep him far away from both. Even though he'd probably look better against Anthony Joshua. Because Styles do make fights. But... I just don't see him become a good champion one day. Unless, I don't, I don't know. Usyk beats him too, in my opinion. All right, if you made this far, like and subscribe, please. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below.